Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another FL tutorial. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use the FPC to kind of help me make my drums a lot quicker. So the FPC, in my opinion, I feel like it is super, super underrated. Um, I just have not heard or met a lot of producers who have a lot of knowledge on it because um, I ha we have something like this in Reason and that's what kind of what I used to use to make my drums. Um, and then so when I found out about FPC, I was like, yo man, how do you use it? And I don't know, I just use a sampler. Um, but anyways, that's not to throw shade, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can use this to help you make your drums you know, a lot quicker. Um, so what I like to do is I like to operate off of a template. In my template, as you can kind of see, I've got a whole bunch of different 808s. These are usually the same 808s that I use in all of my tracks. Um, and then I've got kicks, snares, and all this other stuff. The only thing different um, is that my perks so with my percussion instruments um, you obviously want to have a vast array of different um, instruments you know you might want to have a chime or a triangle or a shaker or like a wooden block or a castanet all those kind of things so what you can do is in FPC you can load FPC and you got two different banks that you can use so you can load up FPC with a whole bunch of those different drum sounds uh, those different percussion sounds so I'm gonna go ahead and look actually let's go let's pick something else um, let's go with decap and let's go to some of his stuff Oh wait, no, we got one from producer grind here. Yeah, let's use this one. So I got FPC loaded up uh, and it's completely empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag all of these sounds into FPC first, right? So I'm gonna just click and drag all this stuff that, you know, I might use um, or percussion sounds that I like, whether it's specific to a genre or if it's, um, you know, maybe I, use the same kind of percussion percussion sounds in all of my beats all right so let's go ahead and just load it up all right so i got all of them loaded um the next thing that i want to do is i want to select the layout so i like to select a layout uh what the layout does is the layout kind of correlates to where your keys are uh to which key you hit is going to trigger which pad so on this one i think automatically i had set it to where's load layouts layouts uh, starts at C5. That's kind of where I would do it. So now, um, every single note that I hit, the corresponding note, uh, the note that I hit next to the right, I guess, going upwards, going upscale or whatever, um, is going to hit the next pad right here. So right now I'm going to hit C5, C sharp, C5 sharp, D5, you know, so on and so forth. And it's going to go through all of those um, percussion sounds. All right. So, bam, you think, ah, Cruz, that's not all that dope. All right. But check this out. Um, the next thing that you would want to do is make sure that you save this as a preset. Right. So I would save it as a preset and whatever. Uh, and then I might title it trap percussions, um, R&B percussion, uh, boom bap percussions, whatever. But there's one last thing that you can also do. The great thing about FPC um, is that you can route each individual pad to its own mixer channel, but you can still have them all on one single uh, playlist if you kind of wanted to, to, to do it that way. That's not the way that I would do it, but if you wanted to do it that way, you could. So let's say this first sound here, so this little kind of like metal bongo, I can set this output to 10. Then this little castanet, I can set that castanet to output 11. That way I'm not like, having everything going to one output channel, one mixer channel, because I obviously like you might want to mix things differently. Uh, and then obviously like when you record, you can kind of create your, a playlist for each individual one. Actually, what, what did I do there? You can create a playlist for each individual, each individual percussion sound that you got. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully that is helpful. Um, like I said, I have this in my template and it just really helps me to make my drums a lot quicker when it comes to, you know, adding percussion sounds because um, sometimes percussions like a new, cool, really spaced out, unique kind of percussion sound is really what will make your drums stand out. That's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, if you guys have ever used FPC um, or what you use instead of FPC, unless it's sampler. Don't tell me a sampler because everybody uses sampler. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz, out.